Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, December 6th, and today's a B day. Um, happy birthday today to Connor Black and Nolan Flahan. Happy birthday tomorrow to Jackson Barton, and on Sunday to James Warman. Do you like to play board games? Then you really need to sign up for that board game club. They have a lot of different games, including Sequence, Sushi Go Party, Mancala, Uno, and more. So if you're interested in doing something after school, invite a couple of friends and pick up a permission slip in the annex today. The Chief Change Store is going to be up front before school all week next week. So grab your Chief Change and be ready to, to trade them in for some things. Uh, thank you to everybody who brought in items for the Salvation Army. They had over 8,107 pounds of donations. That's a little bit more than last year. So nice job there. Congratulations to the teams who brought in the most donations. In first place, we have 8A with 3,457 pounds. That's a lot. 7A, you are in second place with 893 pounds. And third place goes to 8B with 829 pounds. Thanks again to everybody who helped. And um, safe travels to our student council who today will go down to the Salvation Army to um, present and prepare all the items that were donated and also help out some of the homeless St. Louisans and help them get some things as they gear up for the winter. So good luck to all you guys and uh, thank you for what you're doing today. WMS is hosting a donation drive for that five acres animal shelter. So Ms. Kelly is still looking for some donations. Um, you can bring them by the student office by December 18th. Next Monday, the 9th, and Thursday, the 12th, we're going to have our eye ready testing for the winter session. Um, Monday is going to be the math testing, and Thursday is ELA. So we're going to be testing the first two hours of the day, and then the rest of the day will run kind of like a late start. Um, bell schedule is a, still a day that starts at 735, just like always, but we're going to do a little something different. Uh, bell schedule wise. So Monday and Thursday, make sure you're here on time and do your very best on that eye ready test. I would challenge you between now and Monday to look up your eye ready scores from the fall. And if you haven't done so already, it's probably a great time to see um, if you can try to set a goal for yourself um, to to try to see if you can surpass your goal um, and then after you take it again this winter and you get your results which I know you get right away it'd be great in January to set a goal for yourself for the spring um, so that you have a couple months to work on improving your score even more so give it your best effort and take your time on it all right, today is the second day of our 12 days of holiday fun. It's Pearl Harbor Day. So um, a lot of people would say that is definitely the start of World War II, Pearl Harbor Day when Japan bombed um, Pearl Harbor. And it's a day of re remembrance for those who were impacted in, in the World War II. So you can wear your red, white, and blue today. Hopefully we see some red, white, and blue. Monday is, this, is day three, Christmas Vacation Day. You can dress like a Christmas vacation character. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Um, or you can dress like you are going on a nice vacation. To get in the holiday spirit, we are continuing our hallway decorating contest. I'm starting to see some things in the hallway. They're looking good. Uh, next Wednesday, admin's going to come around and judge your hallways. So let's deck the halls. Do you like to play volleyball and do you want to spend some extra time trying out your bumping and setting? Then you should come to the volleyball uh, snack around day on December 19th, which is that Thursday right before we go on break. Remember, you can't have any ISS or OSS or detentions, I believe, um, during the month of December. You can sign up for the snack around day in your PE classes and bring a dollar on that day. Congratulations to our sixth graders, Aubrey Miranda and Charlotte Mintert, who were just promoted to co-photo editors of the yearbook. They're working really hard on staff and will be great at organizing and taking photos for our WMS yearbook this year. So nice job, you guys. All right, we have a home basketball game today and we have one also on Monday. So just a few reminders of our expectations here at WMS if you plan to attend. The doors open at 3.30. You have to go home after school. You cannot stay up here in the building. They open at 3.30. The girls game starts at 4 and the boys game begins immediately after. Um, the cost is $2 to enter for students, 5 for adults. You can enter using the annex entrance down by the large gym. Food and drinks 
this time should be available to purchase in the cafeteria. You can only drink and eat your food in the cafeteria. Make sure you are cleaning up after yourselves. That area is fine for you guys to sit and talk, but if we're running around, horsing around, chasing, we're gonna send you back into the gym. So um, please make sure you're making good choices and you are cleaning up after yourself in there. During the game, students in different student groups are gonna sit on the far side of the gym um, and you're gonna sit on the side closest to the annex entrance when you come in. And that is where our student section will be. It'll be behind our basketball team's bench. And then we'll let our adults that are coming sit on the other side. Um, so now you know where exactly to sit. Please make sure this is where you guys come in and when you set the example for our building. Please make sure you're acting as a, as a positive spectator. What I mean by that is please be respectful of the visitors, including the students and the adults that are visiting. Um, please be respectful of the referees. If you mess up and cause too much of a problem, they will kick you out of the game and it could result in a penalty to our team, which impacts our team. So make sure that you are being respectful of that. Um, no noises. I should not be hearing noises or yelling while the opposing team is making free throws. That's bad sportsmanship. We're not doing that in a middle school setting. Also, I should not hear you booing the other team or putting out chants that are rude, um, like the chants that we hear at some of the high school games. Uh, we don't do that in the middle school setting. You guys have to remember too, those kids that are out there on our team and the other team, those are kids that are being awfully brave to play, sometimes for the first time, to play basketball in front of their peers and families. So keep that in mind. If that were you, would you want somebody making those comments or booing or acting that way? Um, it takes a lot of guts for them to get out there. So make sure you are being a positive spectator. We're not asking for you to cheer the other team on, but we're just asking for you to be respectful. Um, poor behavior can impact our team and we will probably send you home if you can't get it together. Students, you gotta be picked up no later than 6.30. Make sure you have a ride arranged. I don't wanna wait for you out in the cold and in the dark. You cannot walk home because it's dark, okay? If you're an ISS or OSS tomorrow, you can, or today or Monday, you cannot attend the game. So make sure you keep your behavior in check so you can attend. Make sure you're leaving a legacy by promoting a positive and respectful atmosphere for our guests and for our school. All right, that's all I have for you today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in your classroom. Have a great Friday.